Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the show. My name is Rick DeLong, and I am the Magic of Magic and Company. What I'd like to do is start off by showing you an effect that I learned when I was a little kid, back when my allowance was only a nickel. Wow. Oh, before I start, um, I was asked by the uh, hostess of the show. She said she found a purse outside on the sidewalk. Did anyone lose a purse? Nobody? <laughs> I guess this is the latest form of uh, savings accounts. Nobody lost it? We looked for identification, but all we found were uh, these. Did anyone lose one of these? Nobody? Oh, okay. Well, let me show you some things that we can do with a sponge ball. When I was starting to do magic, I wanted to do the really big things, like sawing a person in half and stuff like that. But I found it's a little more expensive than just using a sponge ball. So let me show you how you can saw a sponge ball in half. If you push right in the center of a sponge ball, what happens is it actually appears as if it's cutting itself into two equally sized sponge balls. When in fact, it actually is. This is called stunned silence. <laughs> <laughs> well, when I was starting to learn magic, I found that there's only 10 effects that a magician really needs to know. Let me show you these 10 secret moves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. That's it. Ooh. Well, a lot of people say, how do you do that? How do you do that? Well, I'm the type of magician I like to show people a couple of things. Let me show it to you backwards. That way you might catch on. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Did you get it that time? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, I found when I was studying magic as, as a child, one of the things that I really wanted to do is I wanted to be completely different than everybody else. Of course, I'm not, but I found to be a good magician, there are three important things you need. You have to have some good skills. You have to have a good audience to perform for. And I felt it was important to add humor to my show. Now, a lot of people say humor is not important, but I personally think humor is very important. Because if you have just good skills and a good audience and no humor, <laughs> no humor well then you're not gonna have much of a show okay but a lot of magicians nowadays they say oh you don't need humor you don't need anything like that but I say it's important because if you have good skills if you have a good audience but you don't have any humor in your act you're gonna be missing something so tonight if I'm performing and you see no humor in the show then I've done something wrong okay thank you thank you now uh, like I said, if we, if we do a little bit of good skills, if we do some good uh, audience skills, of course, but we keep the humor out, I feel we're not going to have much at all. So I promise you I will try my best to be humorous. <laughs> Otherwise, I won't have a show. <laughs> what I'd to do now is I'd like to show you one of my favorite effects. In fact, it's one of the first effects I learned. As a child, I walked into my dad's den, and I picked up his copy of The Daily Disappointment. And what I did is I took a look through it, and I was looking for cartoons. Let's see, here on the back page, um, we don't have too many cartoons. Here on uh, page one, no, not too many cartoons there. In the midsection, no, we just have this little ad, there are no cartoons. And then here on the first page, no cartoons at all. But on the front page, we have a color picture. That's not really a cartoon. Well, I decided that a, cart a newspaper without a cartoon is not worth anything. So I decided to get rid of it. So I tore my dad's newspaper off. What I did was I tore it into little, little, little pieces. And I decided I was going to dispose of Dad's newspaper. That way, we wouldn't have to worry about it because there's no cartoons in this newspaper. There we go. Because a newspaper to me without cartoons is not worth anything. So I was wadding up the newspaper, and lo and behold, that's when my father showed up. Now my father took a look at what I was doing, and he said, what do you think you do? I said, Dad, I'm doing nothing. <laughs> Nothing at all. You see, what I did was I took my dad's newspaper and decided to do just a little bit of magic with it. What I did was I took the newspaper and I just opened it up like this. See? Now, do you remember the newspaper we started with? Let's, uh, let's check it out here. Let's see, we've got uh, the back page, no cartoons. 
we've got uh, this page here, no cartoons to it. We've got our midsection, that's no cartoons, just that little ad there. We have our... <laughs> Bummer! <laughs> uh oh. Oh, I don't believe it. <laughs> well, it fits. <laughs> Thank you, everybody.